Whenever we would tell stories about him, it would always start as our hero, and that's how we think about him. My father, Manfred Gans, was not the type of person who went around talking about himself. Yeah, I grew up thinking he had defeated Hitler. <laughs> nothing. I knew nothing. We didn't talk about it. My parents were athletic, fun-loving people. They were uh, obviously in love with each other. And for many years, I didn't recognize that my parents or my grandparents had really been in what is considered the Holocaust. His story and, and what he went through in, in World War II are very important. Joining an elite troop and uh, sharing all our past, uh, it, was, uh, it was total heaven. Nobody was as well trained as we were. Nobody knew what to do. No matter what I tell of the story, and I tell a lot of people his story, I will always tell the story. The quick version is my grandfather rescued his parents in concentration camp. When the war was pretty much coming to an end, there had been this exchange of trucks against uh, you know, Jews, and the Jews had come to Switzerland, and one of the uh, People who had been exchanged wrote to my uncle in uh, New York that uh, my father and my mother were in Theresienstadt. So uh, I persuaded my unit to let me go, give me a jeep and a driver, and I would go and find my parents. At the very end, he said something that really made me very emotional, and that was when he said, this was how I beat the Nazis. I had a family. I certainly looked up to my father tremendously. My main uh, sense of satisfaction came from the fact that now we don't have to fight this guy anymore. There's one person less to fight. Revenge was never a thing that my grandfather was into. He always just wanted to, to work things out. He didn't want to go hurt a bunch of people. I mean, he grew up with so many of the people that he fought against in the war. When the film uh, Inglorious Bastards uh, it came out, he was very angered by it uh, as it portrayed the Jewish soldiers wanting revenge on the uh, German soldier. My main contribution to the war undoubtedly was that I literally persuaded thousands, if not 10,000 German soldiers to surrender without a fight. He was involved in the Nuremberg trials. He was proud of his role in that. He was proud of uh, bringing certain people to justice. He believed strongly you could not condemn a people. He said, look, you can never get revenge. It's not an emotion that is worth us pursuing. And, and my father took that to heart. The attitude that he leaves in his book, that he says he le left for his grandsons, uh, I believe in many ways he left it for the world, that tolerance is something that needs to be promoted at, at all costs. You should never give up. You should never lose hope. And you need to feel in your heart that what you set your mind to can be accomplished.